I recently took a trip up to Redfish Bluefish, my friend Jason's local fish store, in a sense. <laughs> and uh, now that he's actually kind of fully operational as an available brick and mortar store and not just an online store, I wanted to kind of get an update with him and there might also be a special guest that came along for the ride. You have a store now. I do. Like, a real store. It's an actual brick-and-mortar store. Uh, it's been in the works. People who've watched your channel have got to see a lot of stuff. So, I, I have a couple questions, because it's not often that I get to talk to somebody who's literally just opened a fish store. Right on. So, number one, of all your fish, what's the hottest seller? Ooh, gosh, the hottest seller. Mm. That's, can, that's can, a really that's We a really can go good a little question. generic, too, because I know we've got a few specialties in the shop. But yeah. What, what would you say is the one that, like, you have the highest demand for? It would have to be um, really an entire genus. Epistogramma. Okay. Epistogrammas are... So epistogrammas are really high in demand with online sales. But there, I'm, I'm realizing there's a big difference between online sales and in-shop sales. In-shop sales tend to be your neons, your rummy nose, your guppies. Guppies are huge in-store sellers. We sell a few epistos out of the shop. What we, <clears throat> what we get a lot of times from people in the shop, what are these cichlids? What are these things? Epistos aren't really well known amongst, you know, I guess you could say normal aquarists uh, or, or beginners. Okay. And then the, the converse of that. What's the thing that your surprise hasn't gotten the love it deserves? We're standing right at one of their tanks, right here. This is tank number 10. I don't know if you can see it, but these are Rock Kill's Red Shouldered Severums. I brought in, I think, a dozen of them uh, many months ago from Europe. And uh, they've been here so long that this guy has put on probably an inch, inch and a half. And we know these are very slow-growing fish. Perhaps one of the the downsides to owning a, a rock kill red shouldered severum. These uh, have not done well at all. And I think it kind of, it underscores what I knew going back a couple, two or three years ago. And that's that clearly the larger fish are not gone, but they're definitely going down in popularity for sure. Okay. This is not a nano fish. This is a fish which can reach eight inches. Okay. So how long does it take for it to get that large? Pretty long. Years. Years? Yeah, yeah years. And uh, so if I was, let's say I'm taking a group of them home, what's an optimal group and where's the starter size tank we want for these guys? Uh, for something like these guys, I wouldn't consider anything under a 55. For okay. like, a, for if you're talking about like a, not just a tank for them to go to in the interim, like a forever home, mm -hmm. a 55, like a 55 gallon. Um, I go with uh, this big boy here and a couple of smaller, very obvious almost certainly females get them set up give them a choice you know he's got a couple of ladies to choose from i'm not certain that they'll harem spawn i don't think they will because they're severums um but who knows your mileage may vary i definitely go with like three and a 55. cool and finally one one last question i have between the, the first time we were here when it was like tanks on the ground we just got some stands put up yeah, i remember <laughs> and now what has been the biggest challenge as an owner of a relatively new fish store? Ooh, the biggest challenge, um, honestly, the biggest challenge I created for myself. And uh -oh. that is that, um, well, you, you spent a lot of time up here and a lot of people have followed my channel and all that. Um, about a third of the way through the build, we kind of thought, hey, it'd be great. Let's just go on ahead and open up our online sales now. And we can be listing fish and selling them online and shipping orders while I somehow magically find the time to complete the shop bill. Uh, that, was, that was a mistake of my own doing. Uh, I don't want to say greedy because it wasn't done out of greed. Uh, it was done out of just, 
I was just so excited to ship those fish little, to get them going. A little too ambitious. A little too ambitious. Yeah. A little too excited. <laughs> little, whoa, that, 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 you've got three carts in front of that horse there, son. Um, that has been the largest challenge, and it's because I'm a dummy. <laughs> but we, we all do dumb things. We do. I do it all the time. I'm a dummy all the time. And that's why we, we did about a month, what, a month and a half? Uh, no, not even a full month of sale. And I'm like, whoa, that's it. Uh, we are temporarily shutting our online sales down because I realized very quickly, this place is not going to get finished ever. There's just one person can't do it. One yeah. person can't do it. Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll have some B-roll. We'll show the shop. We got another special guest coming up in just a sec. Uh, Redfish, bluefish dot shop for those who are online. If you're local, we're in Green Bank, Washington, which is on Whidbey Island. Uh, I just brought a whole bunch of Blue Hawaiian Moscow guppies in. There's like a small army swimming right behind Jason there. There are easily 40 pair? Yeah, I, I kind of stopped counting at one point. <laughs> I, I just stopped counting, let's be honest. Um, but I, I knew that uh, we needed to bring in more than last time. So. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, these are fantastic too. These are just, these are the perfect age. I like to get my guppies out the door I don't know if you're the same six months to eight months. That's kind of that golden period, especially for males because they're only six or eight months old and they're interested in everything, everything. Yeah. <laughs> and they're chasing every female. Every female will definitely be impregnated. Yeah. Uh, being around guppies yeah. that at you, that age. You will have lots of babies very fast. Very fast. Um, I love the strain, man. I love your strain of guppies. And the thing that I love the most about them they are not interested at all in eating fry. Zero interest. I, I think once out of the last six months, I actually caught red-handed one female with a dead baby in her mouth. And I scolded her. <laughs> Must have worked. All right. Well, guys, if you, if you haven't already checked out Jason's shop, do so. Links will be in the description. As always, buddy, it's, it's been great to watch the evolution. It's kind of been great to be sort of indirectly a part of it. Absolutely. And uh, we'll keep watching, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate you coming out. And thank you for the beautiful guppies. You're welcome. So we're at Redfish Bluefish, but I, I ran into this like random guy on the side of the road. Nah, that's, that's a joke. But Oh, hi there. Hi, buddy. For those who, for some reason, don't know who you are, your channel is like twice the size of mine. I would think they know who you are. He has at least 12 members. <laughs> that does have... That's more than mine. I got like four. Okay. So, Alex from Washington, Seattle. Oh, the secret history living in your aquarium. The the channel with the long name. See, this is how you know we're all bad YouTubers. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're at Redfish Bluefish, and I presented you a challenge earlier. Mm -hmm. I am going to buy you in our hypothetical magical Christmas land a fifteen to twenty gallon tank. What two fish in Redfish Bluefish? Are you putting in it? And why? Least killifish, red tail catfish. They don't actually carry either of those here. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I think I'm going to have to say that I would go with, for like longevity of a tank that I actually want to keep, kind of almost like in a hill stream or at least a nice flowy tank with some like round stone in it, maybe minimalist plants and a little bit of wood. Of course, I'm thinking about the plants more than the fish already. Uh, but I think I would do these long, thin, yellow, white cloud. They're like, they used to be called meteor minnows, but they're like a yellow, finned, long meteor minnow. Um, and I would combine that with the rainbow shiners from the Cahaba River, even though these are a European strain. But I think the two together, you get like some nice, elegant flowing with the, uh, with the white clouds, kind of, or red clouds or meteor minnows or long fin Hong Kong white yellow cloud minnows, whatever. Um, they would be swimming on top and kind of mid water. And then the rainbows would get in there too. But once you get the power head or something going in there or a good, you know, or even a strong hang off the back, you get the nice, beautiful, you know, beet red and, and uh, iridescent blue of the uh, rainbow shiners. And and for this, would you go more like the 20 gallon long? Cause you're mentioning kind of a yeah. hill stream style. Yeah. I think I'd do a 20 gallon long. And what I'd actually do is I'd put a, a, 
a hang off the back filter on the end of one side. And then I'd actually put a small pump from like a shrimp size, like a 2.5 gallon filter. Like a, they're, they're like corner power heads that you can pull out of a filter sometimes. But I use those sometimes and I'll put that in the bottom on the opposite side so that you kind of have a circular current going okay. like that. Um, and then put a good size rock off to one side so that there is at least one dead spot for them to kind of rest. So awesome. that would be the plan. Although that's like my answer to support like your average hobbyist, but, and, and like a workable tank, but I really would want to put the, uh, Epistogramma Memore Reds with the Hong Kong long fins. And it would probably turn into a bloodbath unless you really had some dense plants. I've done that combo actually with meteor minnows and dwarf cichlids and it, you can make it work. But you need a lot of dither fish, you need like a 40 breeder, and you need a lot of plants. So uh, that doesn't work for our hypothetical. But that's my plan. That's my plan. So thank you, Bentley. See, uh, I asked one question. I get two answers. It's great. That's <laughs> in-depth detail. Yeah. So I think that's what I'd have to say. Alex, good to see you. Good to see it's you, It's been too. a blast hanging out so far. Yeah. We got a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're cheating on camera. We can distance and have no masks, but otherwise. Yeah, you know, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, it'll be sad when I have to walk home. Or, or, or wait, no, we'll be in the car together for another eight hours with uh, ferry traffic on the holiday weekend. So yeah. Good thing we have uh, two fish nerds that uh, can talk about fish nonstop. If there were any uh, bystanders in the car, we'd be in trouble. Or they'd be very bored. Well, okay, yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks again, Alex. Yeah, thanks. Well, there you go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of little peek. Uh, for those that have been following the channel, you've seen when Jason's store was basically just tanks on the ground, a very beginning racking setup. Uh, if you followed his channel, of course, you've seen more and more evolution through his live streams, but it's been really a blast to work with him. Uh, and, of course, for those watching the video, uh, guppies are available right now. Uh, they went live as this video basically came out. So if you've been waiting to pick up some of my Blue Hawaiian Moscow guppies, he has, I think it's 35 pairs. We tried to play it conservative. I know I took a lot of fish over there, but uh, yeah. If you've been waiting for fish, here's an opportunity to get some. Basically, if you're watching this, you're kind of the first that have an opportunity to do so. So go over to redfishbluefish.shop. You'll be able to find some. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> they don't, like, immediately sell out. I doubt they will, but, you know, how it is. Uh, what I'd really like to hear from you guys in the comments below, what do you think? You know, we've taken a real short glimpse of the shop. I didn't do a full tour because I was there. We had lots of people coming, coming in and out of the store, so I was doing my best to just get some B-roll when I could as opposed to what would be, like, a, a proper fish store tour. Uh, we might do one of those in the future, but for right now, it felt a little more fun to do a kind of semi-informal and just ask a couple questions, hang out, have a little fun, enjoy a little time with my special guest, Alex of Secret History Living in Your Aquarium. I'll have uh, links at the end of the video to both their channels if you're interested in checking out more. If you enjoyed this video, this little, little peek into the fish world and what it's like opening a fish store in a sense and some of the, the weird things that can happen when you do. Give it a thumbs up. Do all the, the magic YouTube algorithm nonsense as usual. Right? Like, comment, subscribe, uh, and beg for the stupid algorithm. <laughs> you guys know I hate that stuff. <laughs> as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome.